next one what is the next question one by one we will solve all the three questions n is written as n equivalent to what is the question 4 4 4 4 4 4 is written 73 times 4 is written 73 times 4 is written 73 times what is the reminder what is the reminder when n is divided by 259 n is divided by 259 question is when n is divided by 259 what will be the reminder what will be the reminder 259 is a composite number which is derived from 7 and 37 7 into 37 7 into 37 it is 7 into 37 it is 259 7 what what are the concepts related to 7 any non zero digit any non zero digit any non zero digit written in groups of 6 yesterday we discussed any non zero digit written in groups of 6 groups of 6 is always divisible by 7 is always divisible by 7 yesterday we discussed the proof also 7 if a what is the divisibility rule of 7? If a non-zero digit is written in a group of 6, then it is always divisible by 7. Now see here. So it is group of 6. 6 how many groups? If it is 6 times 0, 12 times 0, 18 times 0, 24 times 0, 6 12s are 72 times 0. So the remainder will be 1 4 it will be there. 1 4 it will be there when it is divided by 7. Any non-zero digit written in groups of 6, it is always divisible by 7. 6 12s are 72 times. One more 4, it is present. Next one. Next one. If you see, what is the 37 we discussed yesterday? Any non-zero digit. Any non-zero digit written in groups of 3. Yesterday, we discussed this concept also. Any non-zero digit written in groups of threes, it is always divisible by 37. Triple 1 is 37 into 3. Triple 2 is 37 into 6. If any non-zero digit is written in groups of threes, then it is divisible by 37. Threes, if 4 is written 3 times, answer is 0. 4 is written 6 times, 0. 3, 24 are 72 times. Again, the reminder will be 4. One more 4, it will be left. So, when divided by 7, reminder 4. When divided by 37, reminder 4. 4, 4 cancel. The lowest possible is when A and B both are zeros. 7 into 0 plus 4 or 37 into 0 plus 4. Reminder will be 4. Reminder will be 4. These are the two important key points you should know. Thereby you can say the answer in seconds. 259. 259 is 7 into 37. In 7, we discussed the divisibility rule yesterday. If a non-zero digit is written in groups of 6, it is always divisible by 7. Group of 6 times. 6 times it is 0. 12 times it is 0. 18 times it is 0. 6 12s are 72 times it is 0. 1 4 it will be left. Reminder 4. Any non-zero digit written in groups of 3s. If a, a non-zero digit is written in group of 3 times, it is 0. 3 times 0. 6 times 0. 9 times 0. 72 times it is 0. 1 4 is left. 6 a 7 a plus 4, when divided by 7, I got a reminder 4, when divided by 37, I got a reminder 4, 7a plus 4 equal to 37b plus 4, a0, zero, b0, zero. answer for this question is 4, answer for this question is 4, I hope the idea it is clear, next one, 351, 351, 351, second question, this is the first question, second question, Second question is, reminder when n is divided by 351, n is divided by 351, 351. Now, first thing, let us say 351, 
351 is a composite number. Now we have to derive the factors for 351. If you observe closely, 351 is 13 twos are 26. 91, 13 into 27. 13 into 27. So we have to use the divisibility rule of 13 and 27. 13 and 27. If it is 13, already we discussed any non-zero digit. Any non-zero digit written in groups of 6. Any non-zero digit written in groups of 6. Any non-zero digit written in groups of 6. It is always divisible by 13. It is always divisible by 13. 6 times it is 0. 12 times 0. 6 12s are 72 times it is 0. So what will be the remainder? A remainder. When n is divided by 13, 1, 4 it is left. 1, 4 it is left. I hope the idea it is clear. What is the divisibility rule of 27? 10 cube divided by 27, it is 1. What is the divisibility rule of 27? Start from right hand side. Start from right hand side. Take a group of, take a group of 3 digits and add them. 454 plus 454 and so on. These are total 24 into 372 digits. 72 digits. Why I wrote it separately? What is the divisibility rule of 27? Start from right hand side. Take a group of 3 digits and add them. So if I keep on taking a group of 3 digits, first 3 digits, next 3 digits, like the 24 groups I will take. 24 into 3 is 72 plus one more number. So answer is, we have to add all of them. 4 plus so, 444 is added how many times? 24 times divided by 27. I hope the idea it is clear. Take a group of 3 digits and add them. If 450, 444 is written 6 times, if you divide it by 27, after 444, 1 slash will come. It is 2 into 444. If 444 is written 3 times, I will get 444 into 3. Like that 73 times it is there. It is total 72 times extra 4. 72 times extra 4. So, these are nothing but 4 plus 27 ones are 27, 174, 27, 6 are 162. Into, it is into 12. 27 ones are 27 minus 3 divided by 27. These remainder minus 36 plus 4 minus 32 divided by 27, which is minus 5. Positive remainder is 22. Positive reminder, it is 22. I hope the idea it is clear. 351, it is a composite number. It is derived from two prime numbers. 13 into 27. If a single digit is written in a group of 6, it is always divisible by 7, 11, 13. It is divisible by 13. 6 times 0, 12 times 0, 72 times 0. Another 4, it is present. So, when divided by 13, I got 4. Divisibility rule for 20. 7 is start from RHS, take a group of 3 digits. So, 2 cases I got. I am doing the second one here. When I divide by 13, I got a reminder for. When I divide by 27, when I divide by 27, I got a reminder 22. So, 13A equal to 27B plus 18. So, these can be written as this can be written as today's class entire advanced level problem session number 3. So, this can be written as 13A equivalent to 26B plus 13 plus B plus 5. This is divisible by 13, divisible by 13, divisible by 13. B minimum value it is 8. B minimum value it is 8. If it is 8, what will be the answer? 27 into 8 plus 22. So, these 216 plus 22. Answer is 238. 
answer for this question is 238. What we are doing? What we did yesterday at a basic level, now we are expanding it to the next level. 351 is 13 into 27. Actually, what you can do is, you don't need to do all these. I removed all answer options. Check with the answer option. Which number when divided by 13, I will get to 4. Here also, check with the answer option. Which number when divided by 7, I will get to 4. If there is more than one answer option, then check it out with 37. Because I removed answer options, the process might look a little difficult. But very, very good question sir very advanced level questions a mock replica questions so that you will not get intimidated when you look at a question process is easy little bit of calculation intensivities little bit of calculation intensive third problem we did not do let us do it in the next slide question is n equivalent to 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 written 73 times Written 73 times. Reminder, when n is divided by 176. Reminder, when n is divided by 176. 176. Now, please see here, sir. Please see here. What is that? If answer options are present, I will just take a question to you to explain. 53 power 11111 divided by 51. 24, 25, 26, 27, 27. Now see here. The method, if answer options are present, denominator 51. 51 has to be written as a product of co-primes. 3 into 17. Am I right? 51 is 3 into 17. You will understand it very neatly, sir. 53, 53 power 11111 divided by 3. 318 are 54. Negative reminder minus 1. Positive reminder will be 2. Positive reminder will be 2. Answer when divided by 3. It should give a reminder 2. Answer when divided by 3. It should give a reminder 2. 3 into 8. 3 into 8 plus 1. 3 into 9. Answer is... 3 into 8 plus 2, 26. If answer options are there, keep an eye on answer options. If there is an another answer option, for example, 29 is there, then do it with 17. Then do it with 17. Because I removed all the answers, we are equating and finding the value. But if answer options are there, keep an eye on the answer option. Reminder 1, n is divided by 176, 176, 176 is a composite number which can be written as 11 into 16, 11 into 16, 11 into 16. What is the same concept for divisibility rule for 7, 11 and 13? Any non-zero digit, any non-zero digit written in groups of 6, any non-zero digit written in groups of 6 is always divisible by not only by 7, 13 but also by 11 but also by 11 6 times it is 0 12 times it is 0 72 times it is 0 so with 11 if I divide this number by 11 what will be the reminder? 72 times it is 0 one more 4 will be there reminder when n is divided by 11 it is 4. Reminder 1. n is divided by 11. It is 4. Any non-zero digit written in groups of 6. It is always divisible by 11. 6 times 0. 12 times 0. 72 times 0. One more 4 is left. Suppose 16. What is the divisibility rule of 16? Divisibility rule of 2 is unit digit should be divisible by 2. Divisibility rule of 4 is last 2 digits should be divisible by 4. Divisibility rule of 8 is last 3 digits should be divisible by 8. Divisibility rule of 16 is last 4 digits should be last 4 digits should be divisible by 16. Last 4 digits should be divisible by 16. So, what are the last 4 digits? It is the same digit. So, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. 
divided by 16 4 4 4 4 4 divided by 16 i hope the idea it is clear divisibility rule for 2 power 1 is unit digit divisibility rule for 4 is last two digits if the power of 2 is k that many digits we have to take if it is 4 4 can be written as 2 square last two digits if it is 8 last three digits if it is 16 last four digits so this will be 16 ones are 16 twos are 32 124 124 16 7 zar 112 124 16 7 zar 112 again it is 12 again we are doing 16 2 zar 32 124 16 7 zar 112 another 124 remaining 16 7 zar 112 remainder 12 so remainder when n is divided by 16 when n is divided by 16 what is the remainder 12 what is the remainder 12 now we can go both when it is divided by 11 what is the remainder 4 now you can go by using answer options when it is divided by 16 remainder it is 12 so 11a equivalent to 16b plus 8 16b plus 8 11a equivalent to 11a plus 5b plus 8 5b plus 8 divisible by 11 divisible by 11 5b plus 8 should be divisible by 11 5b plus 8 11 b value will become fraction 5b plus 8 22 b value will become fraction 5b plus 8 33 5b equivalent to 25 b value it is 5 if a b value it is 5 16 fives are 80 80 plus 12 answer for this question is 92 answer for this question is 92 what are the learnings from this question if the denominator it is a composite number write the number as a product of co primes write the number if the denominator please make a note in your notebook sir if the denominator it is a composite number if the denominator it is a composite number write the number as a product of co primes write the number as a product of co primes if answer options are there make use of answer options and avoid your calculation time if it is 11 any non zero digit written in group of 6 it is always divisible by 11 6 times 12 times 18 times 72 times it is 0 another 4 is left check whether which answer option when divided by 11 i'll get 4 divisibility rule of 2 power k is last k digits should be divisible by last k digits should be divisible by so this number if it is 4 last two digits should be divisible by 4 if it is 8 last two di three digits should be divisible by 8 if it is 2 power k last k digit should be divisible by 2 power k i divided it by 16 i hope it is clear right after the class is over watch the class once again sir all advanced level problems now beautiful question it is Beautiful question, sir. Question is 56789. 56789. It is a five-digit number. It is a five-digit number. It is a five-digit number. That five-digit number is written how many times? Hundred times. There is a five-digit number written is which is written hundred times. What is the reminder? What is the reminder when it is divided by 41 and 271? What is the reminder? when it is divided by 41 and 271 seems like a very complex question but once you understand single step less than 10 seconds you can solve this question there is a big number which is given there is a five digit number that five digit number is written 100 times what is the reminder when n is divided by 41 and 271 now 41 into 271 if you multiply this will result in five ones 41 into 271 it is will result in five ones suppose see here suppose if you see for example i'll write down here five ones 
five ones. Suppose if the question is, see here, if it is eleven, if it is eleven, if it is eleven, or nineteen nine. Nineteen nine can be written as nine into eleven. Eleven is ten square minus one. Am I right? Suppose if it is three nines, it can be written as nine into triple one. Triple one, how many ones are there? Three ones are there. Ten cube minus one. If four nines are there, four nines it is nine into four ones. Four ones is nine into ten power four minus one. If there are five nines are there, if there are five nines are there, nine into five ones, which is nine into ten power five minus one. Nine into ten power five minus one. I hope the idea it is clear. Now see here. Suppose if I take ten power five minus one. Divided by forty-one. Let us see what is happening. Ten power five minus one divided by forty-one. Ten square minus one is ninety-nine. Two nines. Ten cube minus one is three nines. Ten power five minus one. Ten power five minus one is five nines. Nine into one 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 written five times divided by forty-one. This entire number. Now see here. Nine into five ones divided by forty-one. Now I hope it is clear. Forty-one into two seventy-one is five ones. That means this number is divisible by forty-one. Remainder is zero. Similarly, ten power five minus one divided by two seventy-one. Ten power five minus one is nine written five times. Nine if I take common. Five ones divided by two seventy one. Two seventy one into forty one is five ones. So the remainder it is zero. Very very important point. Ten power five minus one by forty one it is zero. Minus one if it goes to the right hand side. Ten power five divided by forty one it is one. Ten power five divided by two seventy one. Two seventy one it is one. Please make a note. Please make a note, sir. Ten power five divided by forty-one. It is one. Ten power five divided by two seventy-one. It is one. Why we got one? Forty-one into two seventy-one is one written five times. If it is ninety-nine, nine into ten square minus one. If it is five nines, nine into ten power five minus one. So ten power five minus one. Ten power five minus one is nine into ten power five minus one. Ten power five minus one is nine into five ones divided by forty one. Five ones is divisible by forty one. Five ones is divisible by forty one. Remainder zero. Minus one comes to the right hand side plus one. Minus one comes to the right hand side plus one. Ten power five. Very very important note, sir. What is the divisibility rule for forty-one and two seventy-one? Forty-one and two seventy-one. Please write down the divisibility rule for forty-one and two seventy-one. Divisibility rule for forty-one and two seventy-one. What is the divisibility rule? Start from right hand side. Start from right hand side. Take a group of five digits. Start from right hand side. Take a group of five digits and add them. Take a group of five digits and add them. Because we are taking a group of five digits and add them, question is also a five digit number written hundred times. Take a group of five digits and add them. This concept probably you will not find it in any of the regular textbook. Forty-one into two seventy-one is one written five times. So ten power five minus one. Ten square minus one is nine into one one. Ten cube minus one is nine into triple one. Ten power five minus one is nine into one written five times. One written five times divided by forty one. Perfectly divisible. Remainder zero. Minus one goes to the right hand side. It will be plus one. Ten power five divided by forty one. It is one. Ten power five divided by two seventy one. It is one. So the question is. N is. Five six seven eight nine. 
56789 next it is 56789 next it is 56789 like that 100 times it is written 56789 if i take a group one group another group another group like that totally how many groups are there 100 groups are there so what will be the answer for this question n is reminder when n is divided by 41 or 271 answer is nothing but 56789 into 100 divided by 41 or 271 then do the generic division you will get the answer if 56789 is written two times group of five digits group of five digits add it if it is taken two times 2 into 56789 if 56789 is taken three times 3 into 56789 because 56789 is taken 100 times this entire question can be made into 56789 into 100 divided by 41 or 271 do the generic division whatever the answer you get that itself is the answer i hope the idea it is clear very very good problem 41 into 271 is 5 ones so 10 power 5 divided by 41 it is 1 10 power 5 divided by 271 it is 1 because 10 power 5 divided by 41 it is 1 start from the right hand side take a group of five digits and add them take a group of five digits and add them take a group of five digits and add them please make a note